Hi everybody, this is Jared from Profoto. We are currently selling two versions of Profoto at the same time. This video will hopefully help you figure out which version is best for you or when you should upgrade. In the past, we've always fully replaced the existing version of Profoto with the new version when it was ready for sale. Profoto 6 is different because of what a huge leap into the future it represents. Every previous new version release was a step building on what came before. In many ways, Profoto 6 is something entirely different. A clean slate, a big jump into the future of the web. It's natively responsive to its very core, unbelievably flexible, and built with newer technologies for modern browsers and mobile devices. We think you guys are going to love it. Because of how new and different and powerful P6 is, it's taking us longer than expected to get it all the way ready. And because so many of you have communicated to us how anxious you are to get your hands on the new version, we've decided to offer it for sale while it's still in the final phases of its development, before we've completed all the finishing touches, final features, and polishes that we have planned. So, we're calling this the public beta release of P6. That means that we're mostly done with all of the core major features, but we still have some work to do. It's ready to be used on live websites, with a few caveats. You can already use it to make great, responsive designs and do things that Profoto has never been able to do before. It also means that new features, enhancements, and bug fixes are going to be coming out at a rapid pace in the days and weeks to come, as the product stabilizes and gets ready for the official non-beta launch. A number of things may move and change, especially in the earliest part of the beta period. We're guessing that a lot of you would love to get going with the new version of Profoto and start transitioning your site to be fully responsive, but are hesitant about going through a transition period with your website while you design and test with the new version. To address these concerns, we've written a free plugin that will allow you to keep your existing WordPress theme active for all of your regular site visitors, while logged in admin users only can see and use Profoto version 6. So, if you're a Profoto 4 or 5 user, or have your site built with any other WordPress theme, this should allow you to start using and designing your site with Profoto 6, without changing how your site looks and functions for all of your clients and website visitors. Then, once you've got P6 dialed in and looking great, you can switch over to it for everyone with just one click. The two biggest caveats we want to mention have to do with plugins and designs. First. If you're currently using our Profoto proofing plugin, or your site depends on the WPML multi-language plugin, both of which Profoto 5 supports, these two plugins are not yet supported in the beta version of P6, but both will be within a couple of months. So, if either of those are critical to your website, you may want to hold off on purchasing P6. That is to say, unless you want to use P6 in test drive mode, getting your design ready and waiting to switch over fully until we add support for the plugin you need. Second, if you are hoping to buy and make a few modifications to one of our add-on designs from our design store, you'll probably want to wait as well. Currently, our design store is only selling designs for Profoto version 5. Our designers are already working on P6 designs and within a short period of time we will begin offering P6 designs. But for now, you'll have to experiment with and design your own Profoto 6 site. A lot of our customers prefer to do that anyway, so that's not an issue for them. But we also recognize that many of you would like to modify a design you choose from our design store. So, if choosing and starting from a ready-made P6 design is a must, checking back in a few weeks might be the right move for you. One question we've been asked a lot is about importing designs from P5 to P6. Profoto 6 does not attempt to import your P5 design. All of your content, including things like grids and galleries, etc., will import and work just fine in P6, but the visual design of your P5 site is not imported. That's because P6 is such a radical departure from the conceptual foundation of P5. It's simply not possible for us to replicate your fixed width Profoto 5 design in the totally reimagined and fully responsive world of P6. After P6 has been fully launched for some time, we may decide to build some tools to partially import some aspects of Profoto 5 designs for those upgrading, but there will always be some significant hands-on work to do in getting your P6 site designed and branded if you are upgrading from a prior version of Profoto. 
We've always tried to do really accurate and easy design imports in previous upgrade transitions, but it's just not possible moving to P6. This fact was also the source of some of the main motivation for creating the test drive plugin mentioned earlier. Being able to test drive P6 while continuing to show P4 or P5 should help smooth over the transition period of converting your site's design to the responsive future of Profoto 6. So, should you buy the Profoto 6 beta? Let me address that question for new users first. If you're brand new to Profoto, consider are you planning to use the Profoto proofing plugin to handle proofing and ordering of images? Or do you need to display your site in multiple languages? If the answer is yes, you should probably purchase Profoto 5, not the P6 beta. Or if you want to buy one of the designs you see in our design store and use it as the basis of your site's design, P5 is probably the right choice for you. Remember, you can always upgrade to Profoto 6 later in its cycle when plugin support and designs are ready. But if you're excited to go fully responsive and don't mind using beta software, and like the idea of designing and building your site on the newest platform we have, go ahead and start directly with the Profoto 6 beta version. Now for existing Profoto users. If getting your site fully responsive as quickly as possible is important to you, and you don't mind testing and designing while we change and improve things at a rapid pace for the next few weeks, then go ahead and buy the new beta version. Remember, you can always test drive P6 and get things ready while no one is looking, and wait for any new features or enhancements you care about to land before going fully live with your P6 design. On the other hand, if you're not super interested in experimenting with and tweaking your design while we make the final updates and improvements, or you were really hoping to buy a new design to go with P6 instead of designing yourself, then you should probably hang tight for a little while longer and join us later in the P6 lifecycle. To help you out with your decision-making process, we're publishing a roadmap document, linked below, outlining all of the planned features and enhancements that are yet to come in Profoto 6. So you're welcome to peruse that list of what we're working on and keep tabs on our progress, if that helps you make your decision as well. As always, we're open for questions and feedback, so contact us if you have any unanswered questions. Thanks so much.